viewers welcome to my youtube channel emiriki stitches today i'm going to show you how to cut drip short dress the one you've seen on the thumbnail and the sleeve is going to come out at the elbow not actually at where the sleeve always comes like from the shoulder but at the elbow so we're going to use a chiffon flowered material as you can see then these are measurements for the for the a short dress the full length half length bust shape shoulder hips hips line bust line and the under bust these are the measurements required to cut this is a two yard the fabric is two yard two yards of floral chiffon thick fabric that's it we are going to first of all start by folding it into two we fold it into two equal parts make sure the edges are equal Into two equal parts, then you fold it again into four. You fold it into four, but this time, before you won't make it equal, depending on the material is now folded into four equal parts, as you can see, and you place it on the table. four equal parts you can see it we have one two three and four so we're going to commence the cutting first of all we start with the shoulder my client's shoulder here is 14 which is 14 divided by two you have seven you mark your seven inches mark your seven then followed by since she wants it to come out at the elbow, like I said, like what you've seen on the thumbnail, from her shoulder to her elbow here is nine and a half. And that's where we bring the, have the nine and a half. Then after the nine and a half, that's when we are creating the hole for the arm hole. Our hole, since her sleeve, her hand is not that big, our hole is going to be four. I take four. There is a round sleeve there at her elbow is ten. But I think four year will accommodate her because four times four year is 16. So I just round it by four. Then after you mark from the shoulder here, we're going to bring out the normal, normal bodies, which is first of all, we measure the arm O, which her arm O here is eight. Her bust is 33 and a half. 33 and a half divided by 4, we have 32 quarter. You still add your two additional 2 inches allowance. And our half length is 15. We now have our hips line from our shoulder to our hips is 24. So you see? Our shape is 29 7 quarter that's 29 divided by 4 we have 7 quarter that your 2 inches additional allowance you mark your hips her hips here is 38 38 divided by 4 we have 9 and a half then you still add your 2 inches allowance then you connect the lines from here you bring out the arm o connect the lines you take it to the hips then you pencil the thumb the M here after drawing this out connecting this don't forget we're dealing on drape you now connect the line of the drape because where we want for the line to stop at the hips line connect the drape line that's from here from where you have this sleeve here you add two inches allowance two inches allow extra allowance then you connect the line of your drip connect it to your hips then remember if she doesn't want a pencil still take it down
neckline we're going to cut the neckline i'll just take three and a half for the up neck then i'll take three and a half for the down neck this is for the front neckline the front and the back is not going to be equal so then for the back neckline is going to be one and a half oh sorry one inch because we are going to open it up to create a button hole behind so i'm going to take one for the front back one and for the sorry for the back one for the front one and a half i'm going to start first by cutting the one then i will separate the the mat the fabric into two so that i can cut the front neckline but before i do that i'm going to cut out the arm hole that i told you already And I'll cut the body. I'll start from the down. And I'll separate it. Separate the back bodies from the front bodies. So you can bring out the neckline for the front. Check very well, you can still see the mark. But when you cut out the that's for the front bodies, then you open up the back bodies, the neckline, the back that's where you create your bottom hole. need up can this you can put zip a short zip behind you can also create your button hole and you extend this by four inches I don't know if mine is up to it's three and a half it depends so after turning it with maybe bias or you turn it with um you bring out the bias use the bias to bite it around or you bring out the facing you see it will still return to the core like i said bring out the facing to turn it so that it can have a neat job that's all we have thank you for watching